All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and another player debut. Today we are debuting the 87 overall Ian Kinsler card. He is the level 50 bronze uh, reward, or that's how I got him at least. He was also a pre-order diamond. You can get him at later stages in the game if you go to your XP reward path. But these are his stats. I'm going to bat him lead off because that's where he batted for the Rangers. This is his 2008 card, which was his breakout year, or so the show says. He is he is just a solid all-around hitter, uh, all-around player, I guess. Silver fielding's not too bad. Not a great arm, but he plays second, which is fine. The fielding's fine. Speed is pretty good. He stole some bags. He's got some good stealing. He's got really good contact versus righties, like reasonable versus lefties, reasonable power, great vision, very clutch, could bunt. He could really do it all. He's a five-tool player. None of his tools are great, except for the contact versus righties, but he is... He's a real good second baseman, and I think he's going to be on the team for a while, depending on how this debut goes, but we'll have to, we'll have to see. All right, an opponent has finally been found. We're playing the Texas Tacos K.M.B.R.Y. Mabry, maybe? Kerry Wood is on the mound again. His player cap is named Big Chungus. He has Ty Cobb and Cliff Floyd are the diamonds. Big Chungus is a name to remember. Here's Ty Cobb. I guess this is the first time we're seeing Ty Cobb. His, his uh, how shall we say, the batting stance hand position is... A bit weird. Y'all remember Kevin Euclid? That's kind of who Ty Cobb reminds me of in this game. And I know Ty Cobb came first. I don't want to hear the, uh, oh, you idiot. Kevin Euclid is the new Ty Cobb. Like, no, I, like, I understand that. It's just like the split hands thing, right? That ball is hammered. He is on carry wood here early. Wit, I need you to catch it, buddy. Thank you. Here's Ian Kinsler. We are facing Rick Porcello. And we're taking strike one. That is a grounder. Ian Kinsler might cheese a base hit. Go, buddy. Safe. Let's go. Ian Kinsler, one for one in his debut video. Great jump. Ian Kinsler is going to have this bag easily and that's the threat of Kinsler the double threat the speed the stealing the contact he gets an infield hit he steals second that's basically a double right there ground ball off of Porcello's foot really I don't know I don't know if it would have made it up the middle but it, it might have grounder Bellinger makes the play well I guess they gave them an error on that, so Kinsler doesn't actually have a hit. You know what? Kinsler's hit counts in our heart, and isn't that what really matters? That's strike three. Sit down, El Cody Bellinger. You think it's just just because you played in the Little League World Series that that you're so cool? Well, no, it's because you're, like, you're a good baseball player and live in L.A. and stuff. That's, that's probably the main reason you're cool, but not, not because of the Little League World Series. Not sponsored, by the way. That hit in the right fairly well. Ty Cobb is there. Hopefully, this game will feature hits. Something some of the past videos have not featured. Oh, Rick Porcello tipped it. It's going to be a hit. <laughs> the, what? Here's Ian. They didn't give him a hit, but that's fine. He has a hit in our hearts. 
And now a hard liner to center that's cut by Blackman, maybe? I think Blackman's playing center. Carlos Gonzalez into the gap, and it is an extra base hit. And we are stopping at second. That is fine. We will take it. Ty Kevin Euclidus Cobb. Ty Corn on the Cobb gets a base hit into left field. Ground ball. Story to Kinsler, who turns it like a gold glove professional that he is. He may be anti bat flip in real life. He may not like fun. He may think that snow and dreariness and depression is the only thing that exists, but by golly, he can turn a double play better than a panda can eat a bamboo stick. And Carlos Gonzalez just refuses to field balls. I swear to God, if this guy scores, we this, this is on you, man. Okay, never mind, it's on Benito, who cannot field, apparently. Benito! Bryce Harper rips it into right. Ty Cobb is playing on the line, like literally on the line, so he makes the play. That ball is hammered better than the dad's side of my family on New Year's Eve. <laughs> that, that's, still, that's still funny to me. I know, I'm 12 years old. Get over it. Trevor Story flashing more leather than a guy with a laser pointer at a cowhide convention. Here is Ian Kinsler. Wow, this guy has me all kinds of messed up, man. As my first base coach is just taking a walk. I agree, bud. Wow. Well, this has been just a game to remember. Throw the ball, Benito! Jesus. I, I'm going to run to the store and buy a new square button because apparently this one just doesn't work. Strike out Cody Bellinger, though. That's big. That ball's in the center. That is going to dash all of my hopes and dreams like my dad did in third grade. All right, big old Dylan Patances is in the game. Is it a little late to try to fix anything? Probably. Trevor's story, though. We get a double play. Look at that. Something good happened. Don't get used to that, kids. Wit up the middle, a base hit. Left a mistake pitch over the middle. We finally hit it. And the throw is really bad. Wit still second. We fouled off a couple of pitches. It's three and two now. And he walks Jackie Robinson. So the tying run at least is hitting now. Benito lines out, or pops out, whatever you want to consider that to be. Three and two. Oh, I freaking suck. All right, Mr. Stubby. Well, we get Stubby out again, so that'll mean that someone will hit. It's Porcello. He's gonna let Porcello hit, I guess. That's cool. And Porcello gets a hit. The throw needs to be the first. Porcello beats it out. Unfortunate. Tyre Tyrone Cobb will fly out. Tyrone Corn on. Daniel Murphy, a base hit to lead off the inning. All right, we need to probably get one here. One makes this, one makes it doable. 
Kensler laces it into left. He's had two really hard hit balls today, and neither one was a hit. And then the dinky one wound up being, he got on base on it. So that's the way it goes, I guess. It's a rough debut, but he hit the ball hard. I'd, I'd recommend him still. Ground ball up the middle behind the back play. Showing off more than an eighth grader in front of the junior girls at lunch. Chris, it's your time, buddy. Let's let's go get three lefties. Chris Sale strikes him out. That ball is hammered in the right center. Cody Bellinger flexes a little bit and makes it four to nothing and even more of an unattainable goal for us to win this game. And now Kinsler can't make the play. Arenado makes the play and we will go to the ninth inning back four. But we have the heavy duty hitters up first. Harper loops one in the left. It's going to be a working against the shift double for Bryson Harper. Awesome. I want a homer, so Joey Gallo is going to be the move. Guys, thank you for watching the video. If you're still here, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe for more amazing gameplay just like this. Because you, you know you want more. And, uh, yeah. Oh, it's 3-1. and one. We might actually get on base. Gallo rips it in the left center, and it is caught. The story of the game. We hit it really hard, but right at somebody. Well, guys, thanks for watching. That was a rough debut. We will do better next time. See ya.